Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome for the first time if you have not been here before. My name is Kat. I am a full-time reseller, and today's video is going to be a research video. So what I do is take a look at the sales on eBay for the last 90 days on a particular thing. Today, it is going to be a continuation from last week. So if you didn't check that video out, I will pop it up top. Today we are going to go over earrings and jewelry sets. I searched for earrings, but I found a lot of sets. So I will show you those. And these are going to be from 500 up to a thousand dollars. They are out there. These are a little more common than the ones from last week, but you want to remember the names. So let's go ahead and take a look. be continuing from last week. We are going to start this week at $500 and go up to a thousand. Write down the names, lock them in somewhere because you need to know them if you're looking through jewelry lots or if you're out of state sales or maybe your mother collected jewelry or you did and you want to know the value of these items. Write these names down and see if you have any yourself. First up this week is a name that was not present in last week's video, and that is a Vendome. Beautiful Vendome set. It is necklace, earrings, bracelet, and brooch. They did put very rare. This one sold for a best offer on $499. Beautiful, almost Aurora Borealis look here on this one, and it's got the drop. There is your bracelet. Let's see if we can find a stamp. It is hard to read there, but I do believe the Vendome is there on the back of those earrings. There it is. You can see it very, very well on the back of the brooch, the Vendome there. So watch for Vendome. Not the highest selling, but there are quite a few pieces that sell for good money. Next is a Marcel Boucher. This one was in the high dollar last week. This one was an auction, but it only got one bid. So that brings up to forefront, as I always say, start your auction at the lowest you're willing to take. This one only got one bid, sold for $5.50, but this is a beautiful Marcel Boucher set. And I love, it's almost like topaz colors. Here are those earrings. There you can clearly see the boucher on them. So very, very easy to identify. And as I said last week, these would be worth quite a bit by themselves. Not obviously in the 500, but probably about, I would say about $200 for just the earring. These are located right up the road for me in Spring Hill, Florida. So <laughs> obviously there is some good jewelry in my area. I just have not been lucky enough to find it close. Most of my jewelry I get from online estate auctions. Another name that was on the last high dollar video as well. Let me make it bigger here. This is a Hobay sign set. This is cool. I haven't really seen anything like this from Hobay. Really, really neat piece. It looks like it is glass. And it does say Art Glass and Bakelite, which is really, really cool. Sold for $585. There is your, if you see that circle disc, that is where it is marked Hobay. And great sale at almost $600. This is another name that was not in the video last week. This is an Alice Cavanagh set. It does say it is signed. I actually found an Alice Cavanagh brooch at the antique fair I went to a few weeks ago. So Alice Cavanagh is definitely out there. This is sea glass, it looks like. Really, really cool. And here you can see on those earrings, they are clearly marked Alice Cavanagh. And again, I feel these earrings are worth well over $100 or $200. I was trying to focus on earrings, but it was kind of hard to find just earrings. 
So great sale and definitely a name you want to look out for is Alice Cabanis. Another Hobe. This is a Hobe Sapphirette May Orca bracelet and earrings. This is a gorgeous set with that mesh bracelet. I have sold a Hobe bracelet for $1,300 before. So keep an eye out. This set sold for $600. And we'll see. Yes, you can see the Hobe there on the bracelet as well as the earrings. So they are very, very well marked. Watch out for Hobe. Definitely a valuable brand to keep an eye out for. Napier was not in the video last week either. This is a vintage sign Napier silver plate necklace and earrings brooch faux lapis or it says it is glass but faux lapis they accepted a best offer on six hundred dollars so here you can see the back of these pieces and let's see if they got any closer where we can actually read no it's hard to read here but these are signed there's the napier on the link on the necklace and it's also on these earrings that picture is just out of focus so watch out for napier most of their pieces are just bread and butter pieces but they do still have quite a few that are valuable and more rare only earrings guys only earrings 622 dollars sale this one was an auction this is a vintage iraj moini it does say multiple color stones green purple chandelier earrings these are really, really cool. Check out all the cabochons, and then you've got the dangle and the chandelier style. And here on the back, you can see they are clearly signed Raj Moini. This is a name that has come up quite a bit in the high dollar, so watch for that. And let's take a look. This auction was a 10-day auction, and the starting price was $300. So it went from 300 to 622 and there were four different bidders. So the demand was there enough to drive that price up and this one was a great sale. Next is Hattie Carnegie. Beautiful, beautiful glass cabochon, three-piece set, earrings, bracelet, necklace, sold for $629. This is a great, great classic looking set. And here is the back. Let's see if we can grab. I do see there you can see the Hattie Carnegie at the top. It is signed on all of the pieces, though, so it would be easy to identify. Great, great sale at $630. This is a really, really neat piece, and I haven't been seeing Florenza that much, and I I think it's because there really isn't that much being found. So this is a Florenza signed vintage bracelet necklace earring set. And it sold for a best offer on $650. I have found a vintage Florenza set at the flea market for $25, believe it or not. So keep an eye out. The Florenza in person, I will tell you, doesn't look that expensive. And I was very shocked when I looked up the piece that I found. So they they aren't as well made as some of the other designers, but they do sell very, very well. So keep an eye out for Florenza. And if it's a rare piece, they can be worth quite a bit. All right, another name not in the last video and that is kramer this is kramer satin glass they did put fruit salad crystal dangles rhinestone purr vintage sold for a best offer on 6.95 so this is a beautiful set with the blues and purples i love the colors in this and again these earrings probably would be worth 100 to 200 by themselves and there you can see that Kramer signature. Watch for Kramer. Again, another brand. I feel most of them are bread and butter, but there are some higher dollar ones out there. Up next is a Miriam Haskell, who has been all over this video as well as the last one. This set sold for $700. Beautiful cobalt blue here. And 
these earrings are beautiful. And again, I feel like most of these earrings are going to sell for a couple hundred. You can see the brooch is clearly signed with the Miriam Haskell. So watch for Miriam Haskell. She does have some bread and butter pieces. There's a Miriam Haskell on the earrings, but she also has a lot that are quite valuable. So something you definitely want to look up. If you are paying up for something, I would definitely make sure you find that exact one or something similar because you don't want to pay up if it's only going to sell for $40 or $50. Next up is a beautiful, almost like a lilac lavender. This is a Jomaz signed rhinestone flower brooch and earrings vintage set. This one you can see looks to be in amazing condition. I love the colors on this. And I do see the Jomaz there on the clip on earrings. So they are clearly marked. So you would be able to identify them. And a great sale. It was an auction. It got 26 bids. This one. was a seven day auction. It was started at $49.99. So $50 all the way up to $715. Not too bad on this Jomaz set. I, I really would have put purple and lilac and lavender in this title because that color is just absolutely amazing. Another Miriam Haskell set. This is brooch and earrings. Beautiful, beautiful colors on this with the green, blue, pink. And here you can see clearly marked Miriam Haskell. These are in great condition. This one was a buy it now and a great sale at $7.22.50. Next is a Stanley Hagler piece, which he actually worked alongside Miriam Haskell for a while. This is a necklace and earrings, lapis beads and rhinestones. This is a, or I am very, very impressed with every Stanley Hagler piece I see. This set got four bids sold for $800. The construction on Stanley Hagler pieces is absolutely impeccable. I have not seen a piece of his that did not look very, very well made. Here you can see the Stanley Hagler New York City. So four bids and we'll take a look here. It was a seven day auction. It was started at $7.50. So this one only went up by about $50, which I, and I know I feel like I'm beating this with a stick, but do not start an auction for less than you're willing to take. Yet another Hobay. This is red copper flus glass, may orca petal vintage necklace set. The earrings on this are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. If you hear a cat, it is pig bugging me to pet him while I'm talking to you. So you are not hearing things. So this set is gorgeous. You can see it is clearly marked Hobay. So you would be able to identify it and great sale at almost $800. They did accept a best offer. Next is a vintage Vogue Bijou Demi Purr Jewels of India design. Again, the Jewels of India are typically the red, blue, and green beautiful earrings here as well as the brooch and this one they accepted a best offer on $795. I was trying to see here a lot of these are out of focus where it's hard to read what it says but they do say that they are signed. I can't help but put a lot of Miriam Haskell in for multiple reasons. One of them being she is one of my favorite designers. The other being a lot of her jewelry looks a lot different. So this is a Miriam Haskell signed stunning glass bib necklace. Look at this gorgeous amethyst glass and those dangles. 
really, really pretty and much, much different from the other pieces that we have seen. So this one was an auction. It got 17 bids. There are the earrings and sold for $870. There you can see it is clearly marked Miriam Haskell. She does have some unsigned pieces as well. So just be aware of that. Let's take a look at where this auction started. It was a seven day auction. And this one, they're brave, started at $9.99 all the way up to $870. That was a beautiful, beautiful Miriam Haskell set. This is a really cool Juliana D&E Rose and Taglio cameo rhinestone earring and bracelet set. Really, really neat with the Rose cameos. This one was a buy it now. It sold for $879. Not, I think they're just showing this in different lighting. These pictures are kind of weird. Uh, a lot of them are a little bit out of focus, but this is a great, great set. You can see. So one of the things I have learned about Juliana is they use a five link. So you see one, two, three, four, and five links on the bracelet. That is a very, very indicative of a Juliana piece. So that is something to watch out for. And this was a great sale, just shy of that $900 mark. This is a name that I am not too familiar with, and that is Sandor Sterling. This is a set of earrings and a gorgeous little flower basket brooch. This set is sterling silver. You can see it also has enamel as well as the rhinestones. So very, very clearly marked Sandor Sterling. So you would be able to easily identify it. This one was an auction, got 21 bids and sold for $9.22. It was a seven day auction and it started at $499. So almost doubled on the auction price. But again, start those auctions where you're willing to take. This pair of Chanel poured glass earrings are one of my favorites I've seen. I just think the look of that poured glass petals, look at how cool. I think those look really, really neat with all the bubbles. So these Chanel earrings were buy it now. They sold for $950. And you can tell they are molded specifically to those petals. This is just earrings. And here you can see they do lift it up. You can see it clearly says Chanel made in France has that 96 P as well, or 98, 98 P it says in the title and great sale, almost a thousand dollars for a single pair of earrings. We have not run across Shia Pirelli in a little while. This is a Shia Pirelli signed set, 1950s silver tone and blue glass. This also looks like it has Aurora Borealis. This one sold for $977.50. Here you can see those earrings, gorgeous, gorgeous bracelet and necklace. And here is the back and you can see on those earrings, I know it's hard to see, but they are clearly marked Chia Pirelli and great sale at almost a thousand dollars. We are up to our top three in this video. And this one is a really cool horror snake brooch. So snakes, can be money. I have learned that over the years. Watch for snake jewelry. And this one sold for $9.75. You can see there H-A-R clearly marked as well as on those earrings. And I want to go down and see because it says three items per lot. That is quite interesting. So I'm wondering if they had three sets of this, which would be amazing. That is what it appears to me. If you think it's something else, let me know, but there's nothing in the description. Oh, it says zero lots available, three items per lot. Okay, that makes more sense. I was thinking there were three available. So one lot of three items and a great sale at almost $1,000. 
So Tiffany and Co. has not popped up a ton. And a lot of that I left out because they were gold and silver. And I felt like they would be pulled for sure. Like you had no chance of finding them in a lot. If I show you them in these videos, I feel like you have a chance. It might be a slim chance. Not as slim as the lottery. But you might find them. So this is a Tiffany & Co. Scarab Beetle Fabril Glass. It does say rare and stunning. These sold for just shy of $1,000. And you can see here they are almost like an iridescent. They are sterling. They do say Tiffany & Co. But I feel like these are something that could get missed and end up in an estate lot. All right, highest for this video at $1,000 is a Trafari Snail Jelly Belly. This is a true Jelly Belly. You see that clear cabochon? That is a Jelly Belly. Really cool clear cabochon earrings as well. Not really cabochons because they're not round. So they're clear stones. Sold for $1,000. Here you can see those earrings. You can see that Trafari with the crown as well as the patent pending. The snail is super, super cool. I really like this piece. I have not seen this set before, and this was a great sale at $1,000. All right, that is the end. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Give me some ideas. I say that every video. I just kind of do whatever I'm feeling that day, to be honest with you. So I do jump all over the place. But if you have an idea for a research video, definitely let me know down in the comments. And as you're scrolling, hit the thumbs up on the ones you like. I appreciate you watching. We are so close to 2024. Let me know some of your goals down in the chat. I will have a goals video out soon with my goals for my business for 2024. Have a wonderful, wonderful new year. I will see you on the next one.